Whoa, funky music. Awesome. Anyway, welcome to GFDL. You are watching um, A Valley Without Wind. And um, this is the part where I'm supposed to buy the game, but I think I'll go for continue trial because, um, well, I'm going into this blind, so I haven't played it yet. Very confusing. I have no idea what I'm affecting here. Uh, magic points sounds good to me. Magical attack. They're not very fast though. Are these guys the same? No, that guy's a bit. That guy's slightly better by the look of it. That guy, Luke Ward. I don't think I'll need very high health. Well, I probably will, but I won't care. Okay, so it's either Luke Ward or Javan Vutrell. Hmm, I think I want magical casting speed and higher magic points. Let's go for this bloke. Task 1 of 4. Please read at least the first five tips of the Blue Adver Advisor Guardian Stone. Whoa. <laughs> this is really weird. The characters look like they're from... Um... God, I don't know. I don't know what they look like they're from. Um... If I had to guess, I'd say... Fallout. But not the new one. Like... Fallout 1 or 2. <laughs> Blue Guardian Stone. Welcome to Environ. Glyph Bearer. You have your work cut out for you. I have lots of important advice for you. Please confirm. Ooh. Oh, cool. Sweet. I don't know what that means, but I get to cast flames. Um, press confirm. What was confirm? Oh god, I need to sort out my controls. I'm going to press space. No. Nope. Cool. I spin. Um, enter. Let's try Ah, enter. The first thing you'll do is craft some actual range spells. To do this, you'll need some spell gems. Crafting books over by the Hearth Guardian Stone. To get better spells, you'll want to head out and find some underground caves with gem veins. The types of gems vary by region. Check out the crafting interface tooltips for details on where to find what you need. You will very quickly be leaving the Ice Age areas. They will often return. To make it very far in the, on any expedition you make, you will need a healing and magic restoration potions or scrolls. Crafting these scrolls is wasteful of resources since they require gem dust. The better alternative is to explore small buildings to find potions, which are liberally scattered about. Don't attempt a boss or enemy stronghold unprepared. Okay, I, I get that. Uh, task 2 of 4. Please unlock at least one new spell gem recipe by using a professional book by the Green Hearth, Hearth Guardian Stone before leaving the the starting settlement. We recommend that you use all your professional books now, actually, but that's up to you. It's always a good idea to have some wind platforms on hand. Okay, so I'm assuming that's... yeah, there we go. Health potions, magic potions, warp scroll, fire touch one, fire touch one, okay. Link with outfitter's workbench. Scroll maker. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what happened. I picked something up, I think. Book of spell casting. Block of outfitting. Book of outfitting. The spectre of unhappiness looms in every settlement. It's the curse of something that is most in need of breaking. Okay. Spell gem crafting. Okay, 
launch rock ice cross hmm okay shrink awesome I want shrink fire touch I've already got that ball of light okay shrink can I not can, I'm guessing you combine them with things oh but you need recipes fair enough able to collapse most destructible background entities down into a grow gem that you can pick up and expand elsewhere <laughs> great for redecorating brilliant <laughs> I like that do I get to shrink them <laughs> oh that's great sound effects click a recipe to unlock it raw dispersia Okay, launch meteor. No, I don't know. Flash of light. Okay, so these are the four possible spells I can learn. Okay, flash of light. Bright flash cuts through darkness and shadows for a while, causes time to leak forward to the next evening teleports you forward a small distance in the direction you indicate not able to pass through walls or launch a flaming meteor introductory I think I want that one awesome oh I can learn more Dow's monster nest prevents more monster nest of equal or lower level from spawning. Cool, this is quite in depth, isn't it? Okay, what happened was I went off into the into the wilderness and got killed. So I'm now a new guy. I can't remember my name. Oh, civilization level. I forgot to look at that last time. Yeah. Instead of each character going up in level, um you increase the civilization level by going out and learning things um, and yeah pretty much what it says there chunk level this shows the number it's the level of the current chunk I'm assuming that is something to do with this there we go it was here because I set those things down to stop the monster spawners let's go and find my ghost ah yes and I've got electricity jumping thingy ah. that'll do ice age building yeah you can go into buildings but I'm going to find my ghost first so essentially when you die your body and all your... is this it? No, that's underground. Uh, your body and all your stuff gets left behind. Oops. Um, which then... Oops, wrong button. Um, then just stays there. Nothing really happens to it. Uh, if you look in the top right, it says, Warning, Vengeful Ghost Javan Futrell is here, which is me when I died. I'm guessing I'm that red blob over there. That'll do. Let's try and get out of here. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I like the old school music, that's pretty good. I found this, which 
is a place in their hometown and it gives you a bit of backstory. Not truly sure what it is, but we are hunted, but we are not helpless. <laughs> 